Nebraska is quite literally almost the center of the United States. We are about 19 hours of a drive away from the East Coast and 23 hours of a drive away from the West Coast. Because it's so hard to get to, it's literally in the middle of the country. We are gonna explore it and let you know if it's worth coming here. Let's go check it out. Perry pedestrian bridge is our first stop but it is way too windy to talk about it up here so we'll talk to you about it back down we'll there. catch you down there <laughs> all right now that we are properly wind blown and down on a little bit of safer ground the first thing that we did here in Omaha was the Bob Carey <laughs> pedestrian bridge thank you <laughs> and now we're hanging out with Omar the troll that lives under the bridge hey buddy <laughs> that's my wife <laughs> <laughs> oh man all your ex-boyfriends are trolls <gasps> normal stuff. <laughs> so the Bob Carey pedestrian bridge is about a kilometer long and it runs over the Missouri River and actually there's a line that splits between Iowa and Nebraska that you can stand on they mark on the bridge so pretty interesting action-packed pedestrian bridge if you ask me. It was the perfect activity for us today to escape the heat because you get a lot of nice wind up there but it was also really cool just to back off of Omaha a little bit and see it from the distance. This is definitely one of the more popular things to do here in Homa Omaha. <laughs> the H is at the end. I think the bridge is actually a pretty popular thing to do here in home. <laughs> here I don't, I don't in Omaha. So the bridge is actually a pretty popular thing to do here in Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Visit Omaha has all of these pins dropped and this is definitely one of them to visit and for us it was a great way to get some steps in on a Saturday morning so I'm all for it. Now off to the city proper. The second stop on our adventure throughout Omaha today is the Old Market District right in the Omaha city. It's an old west style downtown with even like brick streets that they still have here. Every Saturday morning there's actually a farmer's market here in the Old Market. We were lucky enough to catch that but farmer's market or not this is still a great place to come and shop local. They have a ton of local gifts and things made by local artisans so a really cool place to check out. We spent the rest of the day in the riverfront and also the midtown areas of Omaha. The riverfront being a cool place to bring the family has a fountain and a fake river. So it's like a fake river? <laughs> they have a real river right over there. Why did they use that? And a cool playground to hang out in. And then Midtown was actually surprising. It was like a self-encapsulated separate newer downtown that like has everything you need right then and there too. So Omaha was such a cool and fun place to hang out. It truly has been one of our more favorite stops on this Midwest road trip, but it is so hard to get to. So when you're talking about a 23 hour or a 19 hour car drive, I don't really know how many people are signing up for that. So you might want to plan other things in there too. But it is the gateway to the West. And if you use it as such, I think it'd be a cool place to stop by. That wraps up our days here in Omaha. We're moving on. Definitely follow along. We got lots more coming up. Make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, bye guys. So that's what you got going on. Well, you gotta actually use it as a fanny. You can't be cool and sling it over your shoulder when it's triple digit heat and you're gonna get a weird tan line. Fashion or tan line? You tell me, I don't know. I see you've made your decision. I made my decision. And honestly, in doing so, peak fashion. Woo! <laughs>